Yep. Hi, welcome to the Coffee Chat Show here on Buzzing Potato, the show where we talk about things that are happening right here, right now, as well as general news, tips, information and advice. I am delighted to welcome back Dave. How the devil are you, sir? I'm all right, Trev. Great Thank to you have you here, my friend. Great Definitely. to have you here. I was just thinking, if your name was Ken, yeah. you'd be Kun Ken from Con Ken. <laughs> <laughs> you got too much time on your hands. I have, I have, I have. <laughs> now you may not remember, but we're actually here at Canterbury Bookshore, uh, Bookstore, and I would have lost every single penny I owned if someone had said to me, "Dave will move out of there and he'll go somewhere else." There you I'd, go. I'd have lost everything because we're no longer in Soy Pothole. Sure. Where are we? We're in Soy Boncot. Yeah. Soy Boncot. Unbelievable. That's right. We've got a prowler. A proud of Oh, there we go. Thank See, you look, he's, in, he's interrupting us in our filming. Yeah. Sorry, we're filming at the moment. Sorry. That's all right. Don't worry. Your shirt's magic there. See that shirt? What was that all about? Um, anyway, so yeah. So, how you been keeping, my man? Yeah, I'm good. I mean, we, it, it all happened very suddenly. We were um, we were getting running out of room for the book. Yeah. It was getting a mess down there. I was getting a lot of people saying, you know, it's a great bookshop, but so and, I, and it's been on my mind for some months. Oh, okay, really? Uh, wow. Yeah, and, and of course the dynamics of across the road had changed, yeah. and it went from it went from some very nice young ladies doing all their stuff to yeah. a couple of fat birds and a doberman having a shit. So uh, you know, slightly different then. Slightly different, and, and I just got worn out, and I'm in a bloody wheelchair, and I needed. You know, something a new challenge. Yeah. And we were looking for somewhere for some months okay. to move to, but it needed to be bigger, it needed to be away from that area because it's so crazily busy down there. Yeah. And, um, we, you know, I go home this way past here. Oh, right. And, it, okay. and then we just spotted it one day and here we are. It was that are. quick, you know. So you've gone from like an uneven road full of holes, yeah. loads of girls outside, Correct. to yeah. flooding issues every time we go through the rainy season. Yeah. Man, have we yeah. had some rain lately. Yes, we have. Yes. And now you're in a beautiful place. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no floods, sadly, well, it, the, the, uh, the well, view, sadly. But, but, but it does flood. What, in here? Yeah, we, no. had, we had two inches of water in here last week. You never did. We did. But and we're up was, on an incline. That was a foot and a half deep out in the road there. Yeah. So this is part of the potato problem. It, you know, it can only channel down. Yeah. And under that road, there's 12 foot bloody culvert. And it, and it really bu bubbles up out of the drains, you know. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we do get a little bit of flooding here, but nothing like down oh, there. It's carnage, isn't it? It's, it's carnage. It's down there, you know. You get bloody cockroaches doing the breaststroke <laughs> down there, you know. But um, And that's the girls. That's right, that's just the girls, yeah. <laughs> but now it got very, very busy. I wanted to get rid of the rooms because it's a lot of work for me being in a wheelchair. I have to use text to talk now to type. I can't type okay. now, my hands are bloody useless. Okay. So, um, it, I just wanted to get, you know, back off a bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, but keep the books, because I love the books. Yeah. And, and the whole thing about it, and of course, um, I'm writing one. One day it'll get bloody finished. Here we go, that'll be interesting. Yeah, hopefully, and um, it's being edited at the moment, actually, but um, I wanted more time for that. So have you, in your book, have you told the real truth, nothing but the truth, and the Absolute, whole truth? Not, not a bit of it. <laughs> no, it, it's fiction from a true story. Oh, okay. Is it, so, is it your, um, your gamekeeping days? It starts then. It starts when I was very young. It goes through the gamekeeping years and things that happened. Yeah. It then goes on to the voluntary work I did in the prisons yeah. on the Isle of Sheppey. And that got a little bit... Interesting is an understatement. Yeah. And I'm not trying to sell my book, I'm just saying it just um, when you're dealing with you're walking around in a prison yeah. with a set of keys and you've got murderers and bloody serial killers and pedophiles yeah. and all that sort it can only go one way, very interesting. Yeah, I and imagine. I got well too involved. Okay. And in two thousand and three I came to Thailand. Oh so, you know, um, in a, in a bit of a hurry. Right, you gotcha, know, next gotcha. flight out the fucking anyway. Uh, <laughs> He's and off, that, and that's um, and the, and all the bits between the, yeah. the the voluntary work via the Samaritans. Okay, yep. Gotcha. Um, and how I got involved in what I got involved in, and um, that's all in the book. It's in your book, is it? When do you when when we book the album? Well, I'm hoping I'm, I'm I'm on 320 odd pages. Wow. So I'm hoping um, it's being edited at the moment. I'm hoping. You know, round about the new year, that's the aim. But Brilliant. That, every time I say that, it seems to get closer, and I've just been 
embroiled in this for the past two or yeah. three, well, four or five weeks. Yeah. So I've, I've done nothing to the book. But I'm hoping to very soon get back to doing it because I've not finished it yet. Okay. I've still got some more to add to it. And So in your book, are you in Thailand yet? Uh, a little bit about Thailand, how I first found found Thai ladies. Okay. And um, I mean, I can tell you the story. When I first came here um, with a mate of mine, you know, he said, he, he caught me wanking. I don't know whether you can put this on there, but... I, it's he, in now, isn't it? <laughs> he, he, he caught me wanking and he, you know, I said, well, I can't help it. He said, what are you doing? All these <laughs> what, what girls, are you doing? <laughs> you're in Patea, all these girls. So I said, yes, but I can't help it. I said, it's just Mark, all these girls. He said, well, wait till you get off the Bart bus, for fuck's sake. Anyway, um, so, oh, you know, that, that, was, that was the early day. But it touched on a little bit of Thailand because... Yes. Um, and, it, and, it, and I could, didn't think it could get any better than that, but yeah, it did. It got it a did. lot better than that. Fair and I, and I've, since I've been here, I came in 2003. I've been back to England one time only. Only once. It's 2003. So when my father passed away, yeah. Right, yeah. I'm and in sorry, January yeah. of next year, I'll have been here 20 years. 20 years, yeah, I was going to say. One time in 20 years. I and mean, it's just flown by. I mean, it's been a lot of fun. And of course, now I'm in a, in a bloody wheelchair. I, it, I, I've had to back off, and the wife's very happy about that. But um, I've had a lot of fun and got a lot of memories. Yeah. Well, I'm sure your book will be very, very interesting. Well, I'm hoping so, yeah. And talking of books, I mean, you may or may not know, we're here at the Canterbury Bookstore. I mean, how many books have you got behind us here? I don't know. I try to, get, I try to con people into counting them. But um, it's probably 50,000, I don't Is know. It? Wow. You know. There's a lot. There's a lot of books. So how does the book concept work? What, what, so people watching this will think, you know, I've got a bit of downside. Because one of the things that I think, one of the biggest issues that maybe people that come out here get is boredom. Yeah. And when I say boredom, you're probably thinking, and you having a laugh, like I'm hearing I'm bored. But what I mean is, it's during the early hours of the morning, during the morning to the lunchtime, when the bars are particularly shut and closed and you're sitting around the pool, you know, there's only so much bird watching you can do and all that sure, kind of. I mean, sure. the book side of things, I mean, how does that work? Well, you know, we, over the pandemic even, we, we kept open all the time. We never right. had to close. And what you find is a lot of expats, because there are a lot of expats here. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, in between curving, they, they want to do something else, like you say, sit around the pool with a book. And um, it, it was still quite busy. Yeah. And what happens is you, you, you can trade in your own books. Okay. Or, or you, you know, you can come in, you buy a book for, say, 100 baht when you finish with it and there's no time scale, you bring it back and you get 50% of that off the next book. Off your next book, gotcha. So you get credit. And if you bring in loads of books of your own books, not from here, from anywhere yeah. else, we'll give you credit on them. Okay. And to use in here. And it, and it turns the stock over. And of course, it, you know, there's a lot of, surprisingly, a lot of guys read books and, and ladies as well. Yeah. So, um, it's a pretty good service, and we deliver. We we'll we'll, we'll deliver around Pattaya, but we'll 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 ship all over Thailand with Kerry. Wow, fantastic! And, uh, and it's not expensive, so yeah. you know we'll send a box of books, and and people send the book back, and then we send them back again. So, um, yeah, it works very well. And you See, know, it, we haven't been here. We haven't been running for eighteen years because it's a hobby. I yeah, mean, exactly. It, it's yeah. actually a business. So. Um, but it works very well. Yeah, it works very well. So, what's the most requested book you've ever you you get asked all the time? I said to you, money on the table. This year, someone's going to definitely ask for these books more than five times. Private dancer. Is it? <laughs> is, uh, you can always tell a very good book because they don't come back in. Yeah. And we've sold probably over the eighteen years. Oh God, I mean, five hundred private dancers have that have wow. come in and gone. Wow. And Stephen Leather used to bring them in and sign them. Yeah. Um, before he got. A superstar and busy and stuff and but you know they come in occasionally but very rarely and and a money number one is another one yeah yeah uh, both tie related and damage done yeah that's another the prison the prison one and and but you know the, there's true crime is very bit popular and and war books yeah uh, biography you know just about all of them fiction uh, we have a huge section of fiction a to z of fiction um, and yeah, it's busy. I mean, I was obviously concerned about moving. Mm, of course, yeah. And I still get phone calls every day. People saying, I've just turned <laughs> up at your bookshop. Where the fuck are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, and of course, the internet and word of mouth is a great tool, you know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. And, and I've, a lot of people know already that we've moved. Um, and the majority of them come up here, yeah. Yeah, so, good, good. And, and of course, you can park here. 
down the soy pothole, you know it was a bloody nightmare to yeah, park. Gone, and particularly ladies who, who always come in a car, they don't walk too far. Um, they, they've been turning up here, mm. so it's good, yeah. yeah it's great. So you mentioned earlier, you said if it's a really good book, it doesn't come back. Mm. How are you going to feel if someone brings your book back? Well, that's right. <laughs> I'm going to hit them around the ear roll with it. But no, I mean, initially... Apparently, what you do is you uh, you send it off to Amazon. Oh, okay. They then... make a, an ebook of it, um, right. and then you can order however many you want as a as a paper book. Oh, gotcha. So, so you know, um, which I will do, and of course, you know, I've got a bookshop, so I'm bound to sell it in here, aren't I? Yeah, you know? yeah. And um, I'll be a great read. The glo well, the, glo the guy who's editing it, he um, he's very enthusiastic about it. Yeah. I mean, he thinks it's w wonderful. But I mean, and I said to him, you know, I. Hit me hard. I don't want you to give me a lot of bullshit. If it's a lot of crap, yeah, tell, tell me, me yeah. it's a lot of crap. Yeah. And he's encouraged me to um, leave the ending open for another book. He thinks it's that right. good. So um, off the back of that, um, because I was always pondering whether some of the content of it's a little bit naughty. Yep. Um, and you know, it, uh, would I be allowed to put, or will that be allowed, and stuff like that? And and of course, one of the reasons I started doing it. And I was going to keep it mellow, was but really to leave something to my grandchildren. Sure, yeah. yeah but at yeah, the yeah. end of the day, um, how it went on and, and what I was encouraged to put in it and stuff like that, because if you take too much out, all of a sudden it's not got the same feel. Mm. So uh, I left all the naughty bits in, and of course I wouldn't want my grandchildren to read it. Right, there's, yeah. a, there's a catch. Oh cool, yeah, imagine um, granddad. Did he really? Well, do I'd that? have to really explain to him a few things. Just cut the pages out. Well, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but I mean, dealing with paedophiles in prisons and and some of the things I got involved in, um, it might make him think about you know, wonder why I'm here, and it's going to actually. And I hope my daughter don't see this because it's going to answer a lot of questions for her, because I left. You know, I left yeah. in 2003 and she was a teenager. Yeah. And I just fucked off to Thailand and that was how they saw it. And she til still tells me now she suffers abandonment issues because of it. Wow. And she's got four children now. Wow. And that's how she reacted to me fucking off or leaving, was to go and get bloody pregnant. Um, and but she's got four wonderful children and she's a great mum and all that and so on. So I can't, you know. And one of the drawbacks of coming to Thailand and suddenly realising I've made a life here was all of a sudden, what if my daughter has children and I'm not a part of their life, you know? I understand, yeah, I got and you. You know what I mean? It's a, yeah. that's, that's one of the biggest dilemmas I've had to deal with. Yeah. And, um, you know, they've all been out here. and Because uh, I had another daughter found me after 22 years uh, who I had a fling with a lady in, in a, when I was gamekeeping. Margaret Taylor Sutton. Here, hello, are you the gamekeeper? Oh, you said that. Yeah, I told yeah, you that. Yeah, one, you didn't told I? me that. Yeah. And uh, she found me after 22 years out here, so she came out here, and she's. So she left her stately that. home and found you in soy pothole. Yeah, her mother. Yes, pretty much. Well, she she was she lived in London and she wanted to find herself, you know, like. Okay. You know, and she was pestering the life out of me and wanted to know all the leaves and the birds and the butterflies and all that and God, you know. And in the end, she said. Oh, could you get me a pheasant? I love a pheasant. And of course, you know, we were shooting two or three hundred a day, so I got her a pheasant. And the famous words were, you'll have to come and have some. And of course, <laughs> and I, tur I turned up with a bottle of wine, and, um, and the next thing, she was laying on the fucking dining table, you know. <laughs> but don't put that bit in. But anyway. Well, it's in. It's there already. We, n we don't cut these out. This oh, is okay. as it is. This oh, is okay. as it is. I mean, you've been here nearly 20 years. Yeah. Obviously, you know, 20 years ago, this city was incredibly different to where it is today. Oh, yeah. And one of the things I want to ask you is because a lot of people on the channel, they always say to me, you know, is the city done and dusted? Is it finished? What's going to be the new theme of Patea? How's it going to unfold? I mean, in all your years here of, of seeing all these changes, I mean, what do you think the future of the city is? Well, yeah, I've heard, I've heard negative people all through the pandemic. That's it. Patea's finished and all this, that and the other. Yeah. A certain things have changed. And, and you hear that some of the girls are heavier than they used to be, which yep. is true, you do notice that. But I believe the reason for that is, going back 20 years ago, you had pretty much walking street and a few odds and sods here and there, and that was it. Right. Now you look at Soy Bacow mm -hmm. yeah. and Soy Chai and all the gentlemen's clubs, and it's so huge now, Patea. 
there's not enough girls in Thailand because there's a lot of girls, a lot of the best of Thailand girls go and work in foreign countries because yeah. of the money and so on in London and I know they do because you know I experienced yeah. it. Um, so now there's, there's many more girls needed. I mean Soy Chai Poon is as busy as Soy Six probably, I don't know, it might be a bit yeah. more busy or not but there's certainly as many girls down there, there's yeah. hundreds and lady boys and big fat girls and little skinny girls and so on so you know there's <laughs> There's a lot more, I mean I've always said, you know, I'm a big fat bloke, I don't want a big fat girl, I'd like a, I'd like a slender one, you know, Yeah. don't tell the what. But anyway, um, no, you know, at the end of the day, it, 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 sex sells, Yeah. it's that simple, and, and Patea will never die, yeah. I mean, it, you know, it's slightly changed, and it, and it, but it's so much busier now, it's so yeah. much huge now. Yeah. You know, you can go over the dark side and there's a whole, yeah. you know, colony of people over there, you know, and so on, and bars and gentlemen's clubs and stuff. Yeah. And oh, it's changed dramatically. Absolutely. I mean, I've only been here 10 years and that, the dark side's where I live. Yeah. And it is changing so much. Yeah, so yeah. much. that's right. And it, you know, as I say, it won't, it'll die and people are moaning about this is expensive, more expensive, of course, but they're on more, more money from where they come from. Mm. And yeah, the world's, you know, the governments of this world are fucking it up, obviously. Uh, you know, they're supposed to be improving life as years go on in this modern technology. Um, yeah, it seems to be getting worse and worse and worse, you know. But um, Patea is a draw. Mm. You know, you can't pretty much get anywhere else what you can get in Patea. I'll tell you one of the things that has interested me, in, and I'm still yet to kind of like figure out why, but there seems to be a lot of high-end mall, shopping malls now, like obviously with the sky opening, sure. uh, a lot of really nice condominiums now that are, you know, not like sure. your sort of like simple little 36 meter square boxes, these are some real, yeah. do you think that they're going to try and in encourage more wealthier people? Well, that's, their, that's obviously a plan, they've realised that they're, they're they're not grabbing the, 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 the rich people. Mm. And, um, you know, the, the way to do that is obviously to entice them with nice shops, much better mm. restaurants and so on. And that's one of the reasons they're trying to push it all away from the beach. Mm. Because they don't want the, 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 what goes on down Beach Road. They, they, yeah. they, they want to keep that more for families and tourists and so on. So, yeah, that it, 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 it will change. They will try and grab... Uh, more of the rich people, you know, and because obviously you've got your, your, the likes of um, likes of me and you, plus all the mongers. Um, He's know, looking at his mates down there. That's right. <laughs> um, but no, you know, they're, they're 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 trying to grab some of the more wealthy people as well. Where the, that's where the money is, you know. I can see the divide. I yeah. can see that. Yeah, I can yeah. see yeah. like up to Second Road is going to be a little bit less more conservative sure across sure. second road to third road that big long block i think they're going to say look you just crack on again that's right and yeah. we're going to keep our bit nice sure, and your bit sure, how you want sure, it sure and yeah there's a lot of you know there's a lot of money comes into thailand from tourists you know from from the guys who come for a bit of fun mm -hmm. you know the the average divorced 60 year old guy who's the last time he got his leg over was you know over a style um, yeah, at the end of the day, you, you know, you can come out here. I mean, is, is there a better place in the world? I mean, I don't know, probably there is, but I don't think there is. But I like it here because it's so diverse. Yeah, that's right. It you is know, very diverse. That's and, the thing I like. And a lot of guys wouldn't admit to it, but they go off and sneak off and have a, have a rendezvous with a lady boy or, or whatever they do. And that's great. You can do You're that here. Me. Nobody gives a shit, you know. <laughs> Um, we've had, you know, uh, a situation recently where a lad got involved with a, a transsexual, yeah, a European. Well, actually, a, a not quite European, but person with a. Um, you'd had the chop. Yeah. All right. Okay. And and so on, and then he and he went off to Bangkok for a week, and and this Canadian um, transsexual was a nice enough person, and I hope you don't watch this. But anyway, he came back. And I thought, that's a different one, that's not the same one. Another six foot, six foot blonde girl with tits and a, and a, you know, and this one suddenly went, why ain't there me? And it was a Geordie. No. Yeah, it was, a not, it was not the same one, it was a different one. Wow. Also a transsexual, and of course this lad was getting, you know, he was a bit confused. 
uh, and, and still is, but... Um, a big confused. Uh, no, you know, it's just the things that go on here. I mean, I've always said I, I should write a, a, a book of short stories about having Canterbury Towers for 20 years nearly. Yeah. You know, because of the, some of the things, some of the people, and and we just seem to draw the characters. Yeah. And we, we, we welcome anybody and we'll have a chat and a laugh and so on. The other day, a guy came in. Um, his name was Spider. He's probably watching because he came in off the back of watching. Okay, it. okay. And uh, he was a he was a good lad, you know. As I say, but you know, we we just draw we get characters in here, you know. Um, anyway, Johnny, you, you just saw, who just went off for yeah. another one, you know. I mean, yeah. they're all characters. Yeah. And um, well, you can share these because what I'm going to do is we're in the midst of building a new website. Right. And in the website, the front will be we're going to do like a very much like Mateo's doing. We're going to have a very clean front yeah. and a very naughty back. Okay. So when they go through the back, I'll come and interview oh, you. I've got and a few can, naughty stories. We can do some real ones, some real ones. Yeah. Well, my friend, it's been an absolute pleasure. Been right, a real yep. pleasure to you. I want yep. to just ask you one question. I'll ask everybody this. Yeah, sure. Someone's just coming over here, first time, never, ever been here before, doesn't know what to expect. Yeah. What would be your words of wisdom to him? Don't fall in love. There you go. Don't fall, Don't in, fall in love, fall guys. In love. Easier said than done, Absolutely. that much I can assure you. I'm saying, it, I'm saying don't do it because it's the hardest thing in the world. Yeah. Because you're, you know, you're here, you've probably had pretty bad experiences with, you know, girls back home. Yeah. And all of a sudden you've got a little brown girl doing what she's doing and it's very, very difficult. Yeah. I mean, we've all been there. Yeah. We've all been there. And as I say, um, you know, I've been with my wife now 18 years. Uh, so I, I'm hoping to get the medal soon, uh, or she is. Long service award. She, yeah, well, she looks after me now, I'm like yeah, I am. Yeah. But um, I've had my moments, yeah. you know, in between, and uh, it is very, very difficult Fair not play, to fall Rich. in love. Yeah. Fair play. Well, there you go, straight from the man himself. Guys, come up and have a chat with David a coffee. He really, he's a fantastic guy, and like he said there, and like we haven't shared on here, you know, he's got some incredible stories that oh, I've been yeah. lucky enough to hear uh, when he was doing all kinds of things. We'll leave it at that, all kind of. It's been a pleasure, my friend. Thank and you so trip. much indeed, my man. Nice all right, so that's it, guys. I will put the link to Canterbury Tales in the video description, so check it out, have a look. Come out here, even if you're on foot, from literally from Soy Chai Poon to here, no more than a 10 minute walk, and it's a nice stroll. Burn off your breakfast, come and have a cup of coffee and a chat with this man, and trust me, you'll be in hysterics. All right, that's it from us. Thank you very much indeed for watching. As always, guys, please remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon. If you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video, check out Discord. Uh, over 19,000 people in Discord now, so check it out. Have a look on there, it's totally free of charge. And if you'd like to support the channel and the work that we do here, there is a link in the description below uh, for the members area. All right, that's it for me. That's it from Dave. Thank you very much for watching. And please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.